Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. My name's Paula Smith and I'm an oil painter, but I also work in pastels and acrylics and um, I do reverse glass painting and I've done a wood carving. And, uh, but I guess lately I've been working on my oil painting, so uh, I haven't painted for two years. Uh, then I'm just getting back into it, so it feels good. This is a picture of my, a photo of my sister, Sue. Uh, she's since passed on, but uh, she's an, my older sister. And um, I, th I think this picture is so cute, and it's got um, the way I, I select pictures to do is when the light is hitting on the side, I like that, so when there's some pretty good sunlight, so that the shadows are easy to put in. Those are the, the pictures that I think turn out the best. What I missed about oil painting was the smell. I grew up in a house, my mom was a painter. She started a uh, class with the neighbor and my oldest sister, that one I was doing the painting of. She started a class when I went off to kindergarten. And so I'd come home from kindergarten and they'd be painting away what they learned in their class. And so mom gave me my own little canvas and my, I started right off with oil paints. So the smell I, of oil paint, turpentine, linseed oil, and the tubes of paint out on the counter, it's been in my childhood ever since I can remember. So that's the smell of home to me. So when I'm not oil painting, it doesn't smell quite right in my house. Uh, I bake pies, but it's not the same, so. <laughs> I think the point I'm at right now is putting in some uh, shadows. And with children, you don't like to go too dark. This is a purple. It's uh, ultramarine, actually, violet. I'm going to have to add her hand in here because her hand would be cute. It's not in the picture, but I'll have to put it in back of her dress. Oh, the subjects I like to paint mainly are old time women, lonely women from the 1880s to 1900s, about in there. I find old photographs. I started with my mom's photograph album. And I like their clothes, and I like the, the hats that they wear. And uh, there's so many pictures, not just in my mom's, because hers, uh, there was a group of girls that ran around town together. They were in their 20s, and so she took photos of them doing all kinds of crazy things on the the swings and the teeter-totters and that was what they did for entertainment in their 20s before they got married to just run around on Sunday afternoons around town. But um, uh, the photo albums that I pick up at antique shops and things like that, not sometimes you can't get a whole album, you just get a little photo, but what appeals to me about them, and there's so many of these single women out in the prairie, and I guess that's my favorite thing to do right now. I'm identifying for some reason with lonely women. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but that's the pictures that I'm picking up to paint. So I just pick the darkest points and put that in first. Oh, she's got a spot. The women in their aprons, their dirty aprons, they're hanging out clothes or they're just standing there in the field. Or there was one I just finished of a man and a woman looking out across the field, but he was standing there with his arms on his, you know, hips and just taking charge and she was in the background in her little apron and hat and just standing there and I thought, oh, this tells such a story. She's not really part of his life, is she? But yeah, that was kind of sad. But I, as I paint these pictures, um, it takes a long time. So I'm thinking up stories about the people as I'm studying them, as I'm painting them. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of stories that I've made up about these single women. Must have been hard for them in that day to be single, I think. One of the paintings I like the most that I've done is um, my mom and her sister. Because every time mom would look at that picture in the photo album, she would say, oh, that's one of the first dresses I bought with my own money when I started working at the post office. And look, Lil has got on one of my dresses too. <laughs> so you know, it had this nice little story with it that, uh, so I was painting, as I was painting it, I kept thinking about mom with her dress that she purchased and then her sister wearing her dress too. And they both look so nice. And they've got their, their arms around each other and they, they had a good relationship. Mom grew up in a family of nine. 10 kids, one died young, 
and they were very close. They weren't allowed to run around the neighborhood or anything, and they spent so much time together as a family that I liked doing the pictures of her with her sisters. I think when I painted that one of Mom and Lil, I was thinking about their later relationship that got a little testy at, at one point. And I, I wanted to remind Mom about how they had been best friends. And they chummed around town with Lil's best friend and Mom's best friend, the four of them especially, um, did things together. So I wanted to do that for Mom and show her that she and Lil used to be best friends. And Mom, that was one of her favorite pictures too. One of the, that I had done, one of her favorite paintings that I had done. Well, that, that made me feel good. I, I enjoy just being alone with the work and you don't have to think about any of your problems. You don't have to think about anything that's happening tomorrow. You don't have to think about what you did wrong yesterday. You're just there in the moment with the art and with the technique and with your, your subject that you're painting. And that it's just you and them and that's relaxing. The reason I think I do uh, these lowly people lately is um, I want to make a connection to these people from the past that I recognize their loneliness and that they are moving through the world alone, but they've made a contact with me. And if I can show someone else and they can make a contact with that person, this photograph that I happened to find at the antique shop that they had no family that wanted that, for instance, at least I've made a contact and maybe through my painting it can make another contact with somebody else. That person's life wasn't so lonely. got a message because I do it to I, I do it to relax and I do it to involve myself with the people in the painting so I don't know if I'm a lot of people have said to me why don't you get more commercial why don't you get more um, pick subjects maybe that more people would like and purchase and I say I have to do what I have to do I have to paint this because I feel like I need a communication with the person in the painting. I guess I'm not reaching out like I should be to the community maybe in painting something that they are more like to enjoy. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to, it's a it's a need, a need that I have to fulfill for myself, I guess, rather than selling it. I need to, I mean, it would be nice to sell, it, but I, I have this need that I have to do for myself. It is important to, for your heart and for your soul to be able to do it, not so much what you're going to sell and make money off of. It's, it's a fulfillment of, your, of yourself. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.